In this tutorial, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a vault using the revolve command, starting from a simple curve. So let's go ahead and start by going to either our front view or right view, and then use our curve tool, and we're just going to draw a very quick curve that we want to revolve. So I'm going to hold down shift, which will actually constrain the line to the orthographic projection. So if you hold down shift, and then you can let go of shift and draw the rest of your vault. And we're only drawing half of the vault at this point because we're going to rotate this curve to create the full vault. So if we select this, we can then type in revolve. You want to select the start of the axis of rotation, hold down shift, and select the, the um, second point on the axis. And then you'll see um, for the start angle, I'm going to use zero. Let's go to our perspective view so you can see it's a little better. And then you want to use 360 if you want a complete revolution of that revolve command. If you want only half volt, you can do 180 or 270 for three quarter volt, but we're going to do 360. So because that's a default, I can just hit enter. And that gives us our basic dome structure. So now I want to array this. So I'm going to type in array, and then let's go to our top view to see it a little better. Um, I'll array it four in the x direction, four in the y direction, and then only one, you want to keep it only one in the z direction. And then you can actually type in a spacing for an x and a y. I'm just going to go ahead and do this kind of visually for now. And I just want to make sure that these kind of overlap. Um, the column is going to be right there, so I'm going to leave a little bit of gap there. Hit enter, enter. And then we can go back to our perspective view. And then zoom out. If you type zoom E, that's zoom extents, which kind of show you everything. So there's two ways you can trim this. First you can use split, so I'll type in split. And then if you select the object to split, you want to split one of these objects. You then select enter, and then the cutting object, which would be the next object, enter. And you can see it then cuts that first object where the two intersect, so you can delete that. Probably an easier way to do this would just be to select everything, type in trim, enter. You want to select all the objects to trim, enter, and then you want to select all the objects because they're all going to cut each other, and then enter. And then you can just start to you know, trim, or, trim away at these different shapes. This is a little faster than the split command, although usually the split command works better for more complex geometries. So you can see I start, I'm starting to get a, a a vault structure, this is my column, and if I wanted to I could also trim these here so I don't have the end of this, but I want to have a, make sure I have a column and a dome structure. 